New this morning, NASA plans to make history next week as researchers get ready for an epic flyby past the sun. The NASA Parker Solar Probe is set to come within 3.8 million miles. Sounds like a lot, but it's not, of the sun's surface on Christmas Eve. The feat will break records for a spacecraft's closest approach to our star. Dr. Joe Wesley from NASA is joining us live to tell us more about the mission. This is so exciting. I would imagine the probe is going to need to wear a bikini because it's <laughs> going to be a little hot as they get so close. But what are we expecting to learn? You know, we're expecting to learn so much more about the, our sun, its upper atmosphere, and how it influences our life here on Earth. You know, you said the uh, the Parker Solar Probe may need to wear a bikini. It wears one of these carbon-carbon uh, shields that actually keeps it nice and toasty and uh, safe from the from the sun. You know, on the front of it, it's 2,500 degrees. On the back, it's a balmy 85. So we're really excited about this upcoming flyby. Uh, Dr. Westlake, we all know what happened with Icarus. I mean, I'm, I hate to, to bring him up, <laughs> yeah. bad things. So how close is too close, even with a spacecraft that's protected as such? You know, this spacecraft is amazing. It is getting so close to the sun, like you said, 3.8 million miles. It's like if you put the Earth and the sun on a football field, uh, Parker Solar Probe is on the four yard line approaching the sun. It is getting so close that, uh, that we're actually in the sun's upper atmosphere. We're actually touching the sun with humanity's first mission to a star. It's amazing. It really, I mean, it's incredible when you think about it. It's like fire on a level that you've never thought of before. And what will it teach us about things like eclipses or solar storms? Yeah, as you all saw probably this year during the eclipses in April, uh, we were able to actually see with our own eyes the atmosphere of the sun. When you can see the atmosphere of the sun, you can see that it's not just a nice sphere. You can see a lot of the flares and, and other prominences that are coming off of the sun that create the solar wind. The solar wind is what creates our auroras and northern lights and other things that you see uh, that we've seen across the U.S. this year. So understanding the processes that make the solar wind, the processes that make uh, this, you know, tumultuous uh, uh, environment between the sun and the earth is just amazing. And, you know, when it comes to other things that impact the earth, like solar storms, which can knock out electricity and phones and other things, uh, you probably learn more about that. Also, maybe get a more fine tuned expiration date for this thing, because we know bad things usually happen to yeah. old stars. Yeah, for sure. And as we get closer and closer to the star, we can understand how the temperature is going to be on the on the spacecraft. The spacecraft is actually designed to do multiple of these flybys, and it's going to keep going for quite some time. So as we learn more and more about our own star, about our own you know solar system, about you know what makes this star tick, uh, we're really excited to see that in the coming days in NASA. So exciting. I feel like a little kid again when we get to do these segments with you. So thank you for explaining it, Dr. Westlake, and we look forward to seeing the pictures. Thank you so much, Sam. Really appreciate it.